So, Miss Martini, tell me about Manella, your hometown. Well, this is bringing back so many memories. <laughs> like fishing off the bridge, for instance, or, you know, getting up to all sorts of mischief. Okay. We did everything from stealing ponies to thieving fresh eggs to fishing. Oh, see, that was totally different. I sort of, you might have grown up on fishing and fresh eggs, but I grew up on, like, party pies, footy club food, and out-of-date Petra orange juice. Mm. Sounds horrifying. It was like a preservative party every week. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoyed the trip. Hey! Hello, welcome to Alpon Bridge, Karen. Thank you. Hey, hey, Andrew, how are you? Good, Richard. Very it's good. Great to be here in Benalla. I really love it. We could smell you guys from miles away. Yes. Would you like to come and have a closer oh, smell? Take us in, take on. us in. Baking is literally in the blood, yeah? Yes, it is. We've got four generations. Richard started in Cowingi in 1931. Oh, look, that was a, I've just been here such a long time. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> grandfather? Great-grandfather. 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 So what made you take on pushing it towards FODMAP? Um, just trying to make a healthier bread. So what is the secret with your bread, this special FODMAP The real bread? secret is the sourdough process and our sprouted grains, which we ferment for 18 hours. It breaks down the long chains of sugars yep. into short chains, and the natural yeasts in the sourdough can break them um, down. That's the secret, isn't it, it to is. your bread? Don't your tell bread. anyone. No. <laughs> <laughs> and your product is FODMAP certified? Yes, it is. Yes, first in the world. First in the world. Look yes. at that. This is groundbreaking. <laughs> well, I cannot personally, I don't know about you, but I'm I can't ready. wait to cook some fantastic recipes. So do you think we can have a couple of loads? Absolutely. Okay. If possible. There's a couple of our sprouted grain. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Great to meet Thanks you, Andrew. Thanks for coming along. That was a great pleasure. Thank you. make a fabulous FODMAP friendly bread here in Benalla. It's a beautiful setup yeah. for our kitchen, isn't it? I did spend lots of summer holidays here with my Nana and that is why I have developed this lemon curd recipe because it brings back so many fond memories. Right. To start off with, I will need your help though. I would like <laughs> 300 mils of lemon juice, please. All right. But before you do that, could yeah. you just zest one lemon into there? Into here, and thank you. Adding the zest to the curd just gives a lovely um, citrus vibrancy to your lemon curd. Yeah. So I've got one more yolk to go in here. And next in with the eggs, instead of using a normal white sugar, yeah. I'm going to use 150 grams of spiral honey and this keeps it FODMAP friendly. Okay, an important step here is to dissolve the honey into the eggs. So just get in there and give it a bit of a stir. I'll add a tablespoon of corn flour. And if you could give that a bit of a stir to dissolve. Yeah. So if you could pour that mix into my mix. Yeah. Okay. And it'll go a bit cloudy, but don't worry. Obviously when the corn flour cooks out, it becomes a curd. So I'm gonna pour in so what's going to happen in this pot is the eggs slowly solidifying or cooking. Yep, yep. So you're getting to that temperature. Okay, if you want to just start and have a little look at this, yep. I reckon another 30 seconds on the heat and this lemon curd is done. So. Okay, I'm going to grab your bread knife. Yes. And give us some toast. Okay, this is done. Right. That was so quick. All right, look at this. Huh. Okay, I'm going to pour it off into a lovely clean bowl. Now, quite often you would finish the curd at this stage with some butter. But instead of butter, I've got 100 grams of coconut oil. It will thicken and gloss and give a lovely flavour to this curd. And then it's just pretty much whisk. And I will say, at this stage, that's done. Yep. Coconut oil is whisked in. It's got a lovely pouring consistency. But as it cools, it will thicken beautifully. I'm going to pop it into a lovely sterilised jar and you can eat it straight away or chill it right down and it'll keep for two weeks. Cheers. Shush! I think those cockies Trying want some... Trying to do um, something here. How's your toast? Toast is coming up right Ready now. Ready enough. Well, it's lightly brown. It's not really, really toasty. 
Oh, that's so, beautiful. So this will just be warm through. Mm. All right. Allow me. Now, there's one thing I will say is that when I do eat outside my square, it's got to be for a good reason. Okay, yeah. I'm going to finish the curd with a little bit of cream and let's just dig yeah. in and have a little bit of a... <laughs> mm. I think, Richard, I'm just truly in love with the, the, the zingy flavour of the lemon and the richness of the curd on the toast. So. And you've also got, it, you've got the honey in there, which I think is also... Mmm. It's also just... good. <laughs> And what I'm going to do is a really quick little, like, parfait. Oh, mm. lovely. So I'm just going to, like, quickly... As in a frozen parfait? No, as that in... That is going to be almost, genius. Almost, almost breakfasty, almost 9pm. So it's some, between. Some, well, sort of... You could be both. Okay. So Ali's beautiful, gorgeous red apples are uh, Modi apples. They're like snow white red, aren't they? They were named after a particular Italian artist called Medigliani. Ah, oh, Medigliani. Yeah. So very finely sliced those. You know, Richard, the red in this apple, this Modi apple, reminds me of the red, you know, you might find in a fairy tale apple, like Snow White or the William Tell apple type thing. Yeah. Anyway. Or maybe a forbidden fruit of some forbidden, kind. Yes. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, I digress. Where were you? All right, Sorry. so we've got some lovely <laughs> sheep's milk yogurt here. So we just need one nice... Or two. Two scoops of sheep's milk. Two yeah. scoops of sheep's milk. Looking delicious over there. I want to put a little bit of curd on this. That's a little bit, by the way. That's a little bit. Mm. And this lovely table of plenty muesli. All right. Do you want to try it? Be delighted. Mm. Delicious. Fresh, crisp, sweet mm. apple. Sharpness of the yogurt. The zesty lemon and then the texture from the muesli. See how that could almost be 9pm at night? Yeah. Not every dessert has to be like really extremely full on and decadent. That sort of fits into that sort of healthy aspect. It's great. It's delicious. The curd is good. Thank you Cheers. for that combo, Richard. Oh, and so there you have it. I've had my walk down memory lane with my lemon curd on toast. Well, I've done grated apple with some sheep's milk yogurt, lovely table of plenty muesli and your wonderful lemon curd. Thank you so much. <laughs> been lovely. You know, Richard, you've got nothing to worry about because I did do an archery course in year 10 on school camp.